Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming Malaysian Grand Prix that is happening this weekend. Now, before we get into it, here is the schedule for Friday. Here is the schedule for Saturday. And here is the schedule for Sunday. Now, looking back at last year's race, the race was won by Peko Benyaya from Bastanini, Quadraro, Basecki, Rins, Miller, Mark Marquez, Brad Binder, Johan Zerko, and Aleish Espagro. And I think this year will be a pretty different order, but, you know, if we remember the battle last year between Bastanini and Benyaya, it was quite a squeaky bum time for all involved in the Ducati team. And I think we're going to have another good battle this year between Benyaya and Martin. It will just depend what happens between the two of them. You know, does Martin uh, scamper away at the start, pull the gap and leave it to Peko to try and close the gap? Peko has recently confirmed that, you know, he needs to look at his uh, qualifying pace and, you know, his kind of format of his weekend is always preparing for the long race rather than the short race. And I get why he does that, you know, it does create more points. But again, he's now in a fight where every point is valuable or super valuable. So he has to, in my view, he has to put manners on Martin this weekend in order to stretch the gap to build a little bit of a comfort zone for the last two Grand Prix after this weekend. I do expect Martin to be very strong. Marini was saying his feel on the bike is absolutely unbelievable. Um, this weekend, Quadraro, I don't actually know how Yamaha are going to go. Like last weekend, I thought with the the straight and the acceleration zones that they would be in trouble, but they were actually quite good. So I genuinely don't know. Big weekend for Bisecki in my in my opinion. You know, if he doesn't do well or if he doesn't at least finish ahead of the two boys, Peko and Martin. You know, his championship is all but over. Marc Marquez, difficult to know what's going to happen here. The Honda doesn't really suit long corners, so uh, it will be interesting uh, to see how he goes. Uh, the Aprilia team, uh, they're strugg struggling a lot on tracks that have high temperature or high heat or high ambient heat as well. The bike just seems to overheat, um, and that's what caught Raul, Aleish, and Maverick at the last Grand Prix. So, you know, Malaysia is, is is a hot race, so it's definitely going to be a difficult one for them. We have no Alex Rins, as we know, Iker Lacona will be taking his ride. Bautista, again, will be uh, doing his wild card. It'll be interesting to see how he stacks up against the current MotoGP uh, grid. Binder, I think he will go quite well. Um, you know, this is going to be a hard race for everyone due to the heat and temperature. But I think Binder can do a, a good, solid job overall in the race weekend. Um, Jack Miller, a lot of concerns about him right now. Um, you know, I think, you know, he's not really getting on with the bike. He's burning up the tires very quickly. Um, and... KTM are not the most patient team. Let's just call it that way. Uh, there's a lot of talk about will he be dumped down into gas gas. I don't think so right now, but I think, you know, if he has three bad races, then that's the majority of the season were not good races. So, you know, there's a possibility. Um, but I think it'll definitely be interesting to see how Digi Antonio goes. Um, you know, he is fighting for his MotoGP life. Uh, you know, that seat in Repsol Honda is not yet guaranteed. So another strong showing from him may seal his faith and get him that ride. Don't know, is that a positive or a negative uh, for him? Um, overall, I think it's going to be a long, hard, tough weekend for all the riders. You know, Martin did crash here last year, early in lap six, I believe. Um, so it will be definitely interesting to see how they go and how, uh, how I suppose they react to the temperatures. As a, as again, look, it is a super hot race. Tire degradation will be up there, I would think, you know, with the heat. Um, so it will definitely be interesting. Hard to pick a Friday man, but I'm going to stick with Brad Binder. I think he's going he's gonna to jam it in there to try and see how things are going. But 
Definitely love to know your thoughts. What are you looking forward to about the Malaysian Grand Prix and who will be your fastest man on Friday? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.